very much. You know, fighting an opioid addiction is tough. Getting clean is torture. Yeah, withdrawal, detox, necessary hurdles to get and stay clean. WSBT 22's Kristen Bean is here, and Kristen, withdrawals from opioids won't kill you. So why is it so hard for addicts to quit? Well, immediate symptoms can last five to seven days, but long-term effects can hang on for up to two years. Tonight, a local man shares what it feels like to detox and why some say getting clean in our area is nearly impossible. This is Ben Bentley. The 29-year-old is a talented pianist and a heroin addict. Because I didn't understand what I was messing with, I very quickly found myself immersed in this life that I didn't know how to get out of. Me too. He so did get out, but it wasn't easy. Growing up, the Granger native worked with kids with special needs, volunteered at his church, and was a dedicated student earning a scholarship to college. His parents worked hard to prepare their kids for achievement, not addiction. It was a beautiful, blessed childhood. They didn't raise their kids to deal with these things. You know, we were, um, I was set up better than that. Bentley was introduced to heroin in his 20s. You know, I compromised my morals and my better judgment, and uh, we all have that uh, intuitive piece of us that knows better. And I heard that voice and I was like, eh, we'll just put that to the side and I'm gonna try this. Bentley fell into the depths of addiction. He has eight felonies, spent nearly two years in prison, and tried to get clean countless times. And I fell right back into it, and I was even worse off than I was originally, and I swore to myself I would never go back to it, and I believed it. And, uh, and I did find myself there because I didn't understand what it took. What it took Correct. for Bentley yeah. was inpatient detox, intensive outpatient treatment, and a long-term therapeutic community. Getting clean isn't easy. The first several days after an addict stops using opioids can be painful and severe. You're freezing, but you can't stop sweating and you're just in a pool of sweat. It feels like ants are crawling under your skin, like food poisoning times 10. So then you start to lose your mind because you haven't slept and you've had to experience, you know, 72 hours or more of straight pain like this. Because of that, relapse rates are high. For those that have the disease of addiction, it is highly, highly unlikely that they will be able to stop on their own without medical care. That's why experts like IU South Bend professor John Gallagher recommend medication-assisted treatment. Through the use of medication like methadone or buprenorphine, some addicts can wean themselves off the opioids they're addicted to. So yes, we are trading one drug for an another to improve the individual's quality of life and the overall health of a, of a neighborhood and a community. And while Gallagher says it is possible for some people to get clean without medication, it is highly, highly unlikely. Another problem for addicts in our area, there are few places to get this kind of help. And when you see someone walk in, they're non-functional. And not only non-functional, they feel awful. And so that's that desperation to then use the drug because they know if they use the drug, they will feel better. And what people say is they don't take the drug anymore to get high, they take it not to feel sick. Dr. Robert Raster is the medical director at Michiana Behavioral Health in Plymouth. There's no waiting list here. Walk-ins are welcome, and it helps get patients signed up for insurance so they can pay. But it is the only medically managed inpatient detox program in our area for addicts in the first few days of recovery. What we do here is you get someone in for three to four to five to six days where they're locked in, getting treatment, and it's amazing what they can do then in terms of giving the head start to then we then refer them to an outpatient program that they can follow through with their care for. Michiana Behavioral Health served around 900 people in the past 15 months. Even Raster believes more help is needed. And it's amazing how often they can't get it, and we need to have more places where they can get it because I think it gives them a fresh start. Bentley had to travel to Indianapolis to get the help he needed. It's irrelevant how you got here, why, what you did. You need to cleanse your soul and you need to move on and just accept that you're powerless over the substance. Even after the initial detox, it can take up to two years for your brain to heal. Experts say addicts can struggle with severe depression for years. That also contributes to the relapse risk. Now, Ben has been clean for 15 months, 
and he's written a book about his journey. He called it Powerless, and he hopes to one day get it published. Wow, that's amazing. You know, we just heard from the expert in your story who said that it is highly unlikely that anybody can get clean on their own, but it is also possible. Yeah, that's true. But for the vast majority of addicts, especially those who have been addicted for long periods of time, medication-assisted treatment has the highest rate of success. And once they're clean, there are resources in our area to help the addicts. Yes, that's right. There are plenty of resources. Oak Lawn Life Treatment Center's choices, to name a few. And I should clarify, there are several inpatient programs where you can detox. But Michiana Behavioral Health is the only medically managed inpatient detox where patients can be overseen by a doctor. And keep in mind, it is 40 minutes away from South Bend. All right. Yeah. Your All story right. is a real eye-opener. It is. Kristen, thank you.